New Jersey is saying goodbye to Lieutenant Governor Sheila Oliver. Today marks the start of a three-day celebration of her life. She's now lying in state in the State House Rotunda in Trenton. Oliver died suddenly last week after being hospitalized for an undisclosed medical condition. She was a trailblazer and an inspiration, the first woman of color to serve in a statewide elected office in the history of New Jersey. New Jersey reporter Anthony Johnson this afternoon is in Trenton. Anthony. Sandra, despite some heavy rain that has been passing through the Trenton area in the last hour or so, mourners are still arriving here to the state capitol to pay their respects to Sheila Oliver. Of course, she means so much to this state and so much to the history of this state. And many of the people that arrived here this morning before 11 o'clock, before the doors opened, said they came here because she meant so much to so many. Sheila Oliver accomplished many firsts in her long and distinguished career in New Jersey politics. She's the first African-American woman to serve as lieutenant governor, first to be elected to an office statewide, and the first black woman to serve as assembly speaker. That's why so many rushed here early today to pay their respects. We also work with um, Sylvia Oliver, who's uh, Lieutenant Governor Sheila Oliver's sister-in-law. So we're here to support uh, the family. The flag-draped coffin was carried by state troopers with bagpipes playing into the Capitol building, where Oliver served in her role as Lieutenant Governor and ran the Department of Community Affairs. It was an honor to a woman who served with grace and dignity. She was a person who was always concerned about uh, what I refer to as the little people. You know what I mean? All too often when people get in politics, they forget where they come from uh, and who they really are. But she never did, and, I, and I, I found that to be one of her better qualities. Her body now rests inside the Capitol Rotunda, and mourners filed up to the coffin to pay their respects. For many women gathered, Lieutenant Governor Sheila Oliver represented hope. With her being a trailblazer, it gives me and other women hope, you know, and just something to look forward to, to know that it can be done. Oliver became Lieutenant Governor on January 16th of 2018. Governor Phil Murphy stood in silence near the coffin this morning. He and his family had to rush back to New Jersey after Oliver's death last week. Her admirers are going to miss her years of service and dedication to the state she loved. I'm here to pay respects and to um, just honor her, honor her life and honor her legacy. Yeah, and so many mourners that are coming here today are doing exactly that, coming here to pay their respects because of the work she did here in the state. She will lie in state here at the state capitol until 6 o'clock this evening, and then tomorrow she'll be in Essex County where they'll have another location for people to come and to pay their respects from 10 a.m. to 10 p.m., and then the funeral service will take place at the Basilica in Newark this coming Saturday.